Hey, how's it going, pre-cal kids? <clears throat> oh, Moby turned off. Hey, let's talk about angles and the measures. We are starting trig. We are going to go deep in the trig territory. I actually really like trig. You guys are going to say I'm crazy, but you always do, so it really doesn't matter. First thing I want to talk about is why is a circle 360 degrees? Like when I jump up and I do a 360 degree dunk, it means I jumped and did a full spin like Glenn Robinson Jr. does. Okay. The reason why they did that is back in the day they used to sex gesmal uh, counting system. That means base 60. Okay. Uh, and base 60, the reason why they liked it is, you know, you can divide it by, well, all those numbers right here. Okay. Even early astronomers used those to help, you know, divide things in circles because they found it was easier to divide it into equal parts. Like they would use... Uh, I don't know, 100. Then you could split into 10 equal parts, 5 equal parts, 2 equal parts, 25 or 4, but not 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30. So you just have a lot of options, so they just liked it. Okay? There's actually more math too, but I'll leave it there. Okay. What is a radian? I might show you a cool video in class about what a radian is. They take the radius of the circle, they take this length, a and if you take that and you take that length on the circle that's a radian now when you do that one two oh my goodness when you do that like here's one radian two radians three radians Next one, next one, next one. There's about six, six point something radians. Actually, there's two pi radians in a circle. Okay? Because we're thinking about pi or two pi r is circumference of a circle. So that's how it works. <clears throat> So I want you to think about something. If I give you something in radians and you have to convert to degrees, this is your conversion. This is definitely noteworthy, guys. Okay? If I because think about this. In our circle, this is 180 degrees, right? This is 360. If you go all the way around. So this would be pi and this is 2 pi. So these are equivalent things, okay, if I'm converting from one to the other. Okay? So let's see an example of this. Write both these down. Pi over 180, 180 over pi. All that good stuff. Because 180 degrees equals pi rads. Because they're cool, they're rad. Sorry. How many radians are in 60 degrees? So I have 60 degrees, right? And I want to convert that to radians. So what do I need to put on the bottom? Degrees. 180 degrees in pi radians. Okay. So what do I get here? Pi over 3 radians. Because I can do this stuff. Okay. That's all there is to that one, guys. That's all there is to it. Okay? Now, if you're given radians, you multiply by 180 over pi. And, oop, that's not what we're going on to next. Should be an easy lesson. Okay. DMS. That stands for degrees, minutes, seconds. It's a nautical thing. Okay? That's opposed to DD, which is degree then decimals, right? This is the one we're used to. Okay? This is when we are. This is when you get stuff like it's 152 degrees and 12 minutes and 3 seconds. This is when you see things like 152.35 degrees. Okay? 
the reason why they use this one for nautical and traveling and pilots and all that stuff okay so if you're looking to be a pilot you know who I'm talking to this will come up all the time okay <clears throat> so here's what you need to know by the way this whole thing's noteworthy one degree equals 60 that dash up there means minutes okay one minute equals 60 seconds that's in seconds so if I do some multiplication here one degree equals 3600 seconds okay so these are my conversions I'm going to need to know okay one degree 60 minutes one minute 60 seconds one degree 3600 seconds okay let's do an example let's take 32 degrees in fact let's take 32 point oop 32.5 degrees and change it to DMS format. Okay, so we're going from DD to DMS. Okay, first step's easy. This right here, because we're going to get something in degrees, some minutes, some seconds. 32 comes right down. Okay? But this doesn't. What we do with this is our conversion. 0 0.5 degrees. Okay, and we're converting that. Put degrees on our bottom, minutes on the top. Okay, how many minutes in one degree? 60. 0 0.5 times 60 is 30. We're left with minutes. So it's 32 degrees, 30 minutes, no decimal. So that's our answer. Okay, we did a conversion. Same thing you do in chemistry and physics and some other class. I don't know. You guys want to see another one? Not do you want to see when you're going. I keep it the wrong button. Okay, let's try a more, a more difficult one. Let's try 47.3526 degrees. Convert that to DMS. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have some degrees, some minutes, some seconds. 47 comes right down. Okay. So we take the decimal. 0.3526. That's in degrees. So we want to convert that into minutes. There's 60 minutes in one degree. So I multiply that out. And when I do that, I get 21.156 minutes. Okay? So we grab that part and we plug in for minutes. 21 minutes. Okay. Now we take this decimal. Okay? 0.156 minutes. And we've got, we have to convert that to seconds because we need to get rid of it. Okay. <clears throat> so when I do that, I put my minutes on the bottom and I put seconds on top. How many seconds in one minute? Well, 60. And when I multiply this out, I get 9.36 seconds. Okay. And then we round. Nine. Forty-seven degrees, twenty-one minutes, and nine seconds is our DMS format. Okay. So if you're a pilot, you know that that's forty-seven degrees. It's about forty-seven point three five two six. And the reason why we don't put the other decimals in is because that's actually a very accurate form of measurement. Okay. All right, one more example. By the way, please take note of all these examples. They're, they're, they're important. Let's take 100. Uh, 
computer, 152 degrees, 25 minutes, and 12 seconds, and convert that to DD. Okay. Well, we know it's going to be 152, point something. Okay. Here's my little hint. Here's your formula. Quick formula. I'm not even going to make you guys do it long way. Quick formula. <clears throat> Take your degree plus your minute over 60 plus your seconds divided by 3,600 and that gets your decimal degrees. Okay? So I do 152 plus 25 over 60 plus 12 over 3,600. And what I get is 152.42. Okay, guys? Because if you think about you need to convert 12 seconds to minutes or 12 seconds to degrees, 3,600 seconds in one degree, that's where your conversion comes from. Same as 60 minutes in one degree, that's where your conversion is from. Okay? So that's where we're going to end it. Enjoy.